What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter, and a lot of people are always asking me about Lil' Tim and witness protection. I guess they heard that he was kind of like in protective custody, so they want to know, do I think he's going to need witness protection? First off, I don't think he was in PC because he was scared. He had the shakes, the trembles. I think he was in PC because he killed the famous rapper, and his case was just too high profile to have him walking around you know, in population. So I think that's what kind of put him in PC for a little while. But I think if he was a regular civilian, you know, kind of like me or you guys, then maybe he would need PC because King Von is a famous rapper who has millions of followers on Instagram, a lot of followers on Twitter, a lot of subscribers and just fans that love him. Millions of fans. So I believe it's dangerous for Tim because his face card is forever going to be known as the guy who killed King Von. And people feel like he did that shit maliciously so his life is in jeopardy if you ask me depending on the place and the time or where he's going to be at i think he's going to have to move around very lightly first off he's not a rapper he's not a beat maker he's not a famous fashion designer the guy's being celebrated and becoming famous and gaining the clout for killing king von i'm not sure if he's going to be able to monetize off of that and when i mean monetize making money off of his likeliness because in my opinion the guy's going to need millions of dollars of security every year if you ask me the same type of security quando rondo's gonna need now i'm not saying rondo ain't got the bread but to pay for two security details i think tim gonna need like four security guards for the rest of his life if you ask me because people are not gonna forget and sometimes to get back take four five years so you can't forget what's happening but i don't think he's gonna go that route i think he's a street dude i think he's gonna take his chances in them streets i think people love him in savannah georgia and i'm telling you when you look into savannah georgia's in the videos they're kind of looking at little tim it's like the big man now and i know it sounds crazy because they're not doing it because he got rich they're not doing it because you know his album hit a million downloads they're looking at him like the man because he killed a real street game member so he's gaining some of king von clout uh, it sounds very crazy, but, you know, I'm not sure what it's going to lead to. I want people to understand, though, that, you know, Tim's out of jail, which means the police is watching him. The feds are watching him. This guy got to eye on him. You got to understand the police see everybody on the Internet pulling guns out. The police see everybody on the Internet threatening little Tim. They see that shit, bro. They see that, and they're going to use a lot of these posts and a lot of these things that King Von friends are saying about him. They're going to use that in that trial to help paint the picture that that guy was aggressive. His friends was aggressive. He come from an aggressive background. Tim had no chance but to blah, blah, blah. That's what they're going to say. You know what I'm saying? They're going to say Tim was put in a situation where he wasn't outside arguing with nobody. He wasn't in the middle of a fight. Uh, dude cracked Quando Rondo. He sat in a car. The crowd rushed. They started putting feet on him and all kind of shit. Then Buddy belt out the car and threw. And only threw a couple times to get him off him. Me, personally, I think the police hit him. So that stopped him from throwing. But that's what they're going to say. So that's why I think it's in the best interest right now to stop uploading those videos of people saying... King Von's a killer, he's a shooter, now they threatening Lil Tim and all kind of shit, but I'm not gonna lie, Lil Tim, your side ain't making it no easy, cause Quando Rondo paying you as a killer, a nigga who won't play no games, a nigga who shoot people and shit like that, the city celebrating you as a killer, bro, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not sure if that's the right clout you want, they dropping videos in your city, burning King Von shirts and all kind of shit, bro. You know, so I'm not sure if you want that type of reputation, you know what I'm saying? But this is getting dangerous. But I can say is that the police has an eye on Lil' Tim. He wasn't let out of jail. He wasn't granted a bail. He wasn't allowed to come home and just run free and do what the fuck he want to do. The police know that he's responsible for killing one of the most famous upcoming rappers that was out. They got an extra eye on this guy. If we don't be careful... This King Von Quando Rondo Lil Tim shit is gonna open up the gates of six, seven, eight, nine indictments. You got to remember that, you know, because all the players in this shit got the police on them. Fredo Bang, he was once involved in some indictment shit back in the day. And then G Money got killed. And the nigga who killed G Money got the word NBA in front of his name. Not young boy, but one of his homies. So the police see that situation. Quando Rondo shows is getting shut down. His friends just killed somebody. They watching him. 
Lil Tim's out on bond. You know they watching him. Lil Dirk had eight. The Dirk got 17 million gun cases from back in the day. Then he fighting some shit from King Von and him in Atlanta, Georgia. So police watching him. They couldn't even be together. Then NBA young boy in federal custody now. Then Lil Tim just came home. This is a police ass train. I don't. I'm not sure if anybody want to jump in that shit. Y'all should leave Tim the fuck alone right now and let the shit play out. I kind of get subliminal, but saying shit like we gonna smoke his ass soon, it's kind of wild, you know. OTF ten, OTF um, twin posted on Instagram about NBA young boy baby mama allegedly giving NBA young boy son. I mean allegedly giving King Von son. I mean, he didn't like it. He thought it was boo boo. I don't know what's the reason of putting that out because I feel you want to disrespect young boy because y'all don't like TM home. But when you put that out, that kind of make it look like King Von Ben had an issue with these guys. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's in the best interest to let the court shit play out. It's the homie truth.